everyone, it's Adira and Steffi. Hello! We are on the Alemia map on the Mystic Mayhem server and there is so much to talk about and we're so excited. This will be the second episode of this series, so if you didn't catch the first episode, please try to do that because it, this map is crazy amazing. So today, the next thing we want to talk about is the jobs. You can choose you get to choose out of 12 jobs to do in on this Alemia map with this mod. So what you do is you go in and you learn the, let's see, the jobs book. You consume it and that gives you all 12 jobs. And we have the settings on our server so that you can do all 12. If you join an official server and do it officially, if you play it officially, <laughs> You can only learn one job, yeah. but you do have to have 12 people who are consistently on your server. So we fixed it and they have the any settings for people, anybody who wants to do it this way on their server so that everybody can learn all of the jobs. Yes. So go over them real quickly. We have the alchemist, armorer, breeder, chef, engineer, ruin master, saddler, stone worker, tool worker, tracker, war blacksmith, and woodworker. I did do a video several months ago, back when Alemia first, that I, when I first found out about Alemia, I was so excited. And I did a video, a real quick little video on the different tables. It, there has been some changes, not a lot, but you could at least get an idea of what it means and what is in each table. But like I say, some have changed, but we will be going over each table as we set them out. Yeah, between so, the two of us, we'll mm -hmm. be learning six tables each. Yes. And because we're in the same tribe, we can access those tables. Yes, yes. If you're in the same tribe, there's no problem with learning them all. You have to put them all down, and they do take up a lot of space. So our first thing we're going to do here pretty quick is build a uh, big workshop area. Yes. But first of all, so Steffi's going to go ahead and make the woodworker job. Mm -hmm. And it says, there's no more secrets. We'll build all the houses of your village. You will assemble the boards of the most solid woods to allow the various craftsmen to work on their creations. You will also be able to make some cabinets or shelves to optimize the storage of resources. No one can develop properly without a good carpenter. And then I'm going to do the tool worker. Everyday settlers use tools to survive, whether it is to break a rock, cut a tree, or collect plants. Only you have mastered the art of tool forging. You are one of the most important professions of those who will cross this land. They will all come to buy or repair their tools in your forge. And I took this job as I am a tool worker now. And you can see that down in the uh, corner here, down here, that that is the job I'm currently working on. Because I was able to take that job, I also learned the blueprint for the tool worker uh, workbench and I'm going to need fiber, hide, stone, and wood. And in the last episode you saw where we got a little bit of hide but we need a whole lot of hide. We need a lot. Every work table is going to take. Yeah. Her table. Yeah. <laughs> Every work table needs hide so you need a lot of hide right off at the beginning. And that deer better stay in their own yard. <laughs> so we're going to go down and uh, we're going to find us something not so dangerous Yes. that we can get some hide from. Yeah. So there's Listros on here, and that's your first early, really easy way to get hide, is to go down and destroy those poor little cute little Listros. Ooh, better get some berries while we're here. Mm-hmm. Yummy. If you see them, grab them because yeah. you might just in in the early need areas. Them. It's not a problem at all. But boy, when you get to those other areas, finding those berries, my gosh, that's the hardest part about this game. <laughs> that's for sure. I think <laughs> is finding them. All right, do you know where any Listros are, Steffi? This is the beach you area, know, which is the starter area. I see Pelagornis. Um, yeah, the Pelagornis won't bother you as long as you don't steal their eggs or get around their babies or get around their nests. Um, we don't want to go this 
Oh, you can there's feel something the strength very large. Oh, there's a trike over there. Okay, you want to don't want to go too close to those. And what you'll find on the map is all the animals are different because they all roam in packs. So instead of one track or two track, there's five or six tracks. Or one or two listros, there's like six or seven listros, and on and on. And that that goes for raptors. Oh my gosh, don't ever get close to a raptor. Oh, uh, is there only one listro? After I said they, <laughs> I said that listros come in packs and there's only one. Oh, poor little thing. Gosh, All and right, you, so I'm you gonna do use, have to use your Yeah, I'm going to use axe, my skinning axe. Which looks like a regular axe, but it's not. Yeah, the ingram looks different. Yeah. So when it's in your toolbar, you can tell the difference. Yes. Uh, oh, here's an egg. Look, there's a thatch house, Steffi. Where? Oh, somebody's on our server. Oh my goodness. I wonder who that is. Okay, don't get distracted. Okay. We, that may be why there wasn't many listros. Maybe. We may have to wait for the listros to come back. Oh boy, don't get that. Oh my gosh. Pelagornis egg. Oh my gosh, all we'll do is... We'll <laughs> Pelagornis is mad at us. for days. Yeah. So we need to find some listros, right? Mm-hmm. Here's a bunch. Here's a whole bunch. Awesome. Well, we didn't have to wait very long at all. <laughs> yeah, usually they spawn like this. Oh, I don't want to kill them. I know. They're so cute. Oh, and they're so pretty. We have uh, dino colors on our map. So be sure and use your skinning knife. I'm getting five hide. I need ten. Yeah. I have, uh, I got 14 from that listro. I have really? eight total. So that should be enough to craft both of our tape. Well, if you have two, then we have enough. And I got nine there. So nice. we have plenty. Okay. So let's leave those for others or for, I think if you leave things, they'll, they'll uh, put down lay eggs and make nests and different things. I think you have to have the conditions just right. People complain because they don't ever see nests, but they say in the uh, information that you have to have conditions just right to make the nest. So yeah. if you kill off all the animals, they might not uh, make any new nest. Well, I keep going down the wrong way. Here we go. <laughs> Find our little path. I can feel the strength of the earth. And I'm not sure what that means, but I think it does give us a little buff. I think so, too. Now, we're still not high enough lever, level. Um, we're still not level 20. If you watched the last episode, you'll know that the little baby bottle mm -hmm. down in the that. bottom of our screen, that's a luck buff. We get beginner luck. Yeah. In fact, let's do that real fast before we get into the jobs. There are one way to get everything that you need on the map is to discover the ruins on the map and we actually have a ruin right here down below us let's go down here steppy and see we haven't looked at it yet boy i almost ran out of stam i'm gonna have to put some points in my stam yeah i don't run oh. on this map i i just well <laughs> I, I run you. i don't sprint because there you come. It does drain your water and mm -hmm. your um, stem really fast. Yeah. We have Eco's uh, RP decor, and it has a water bucket in it and a sink. So when we get up high enough level that we can get some, I believe it takes iron. So here's what one of the ruins looks like. And these are scattered all over the map. They are a little bit more rare in the harder areas. And what you'll want to do is really explore around the, oh here's one steppy look Ooh, so you'll yay. find these chests and it says search stuff so you hold down e and then you say search stuff and then you watch and it says primitive alemia stone pick uh pelt a primitive Ooh. wooden shield and bandages so and see we think the baby bottle luck makes those higher and better for us to get things that we need uh, and sometimes you can find more than one chest. We're looking all around. Now if we t take down this big rock, there might be a chest under it, but we're going to need better hatchets or better picks. 
and the same here there might be one under here so a lot of times you'll find two maybe three but um, you will always pretty much but we think you have to be level 10 to see them if you don't see them at the beginning if you don't see a chest it's either under a rock or you're not high enough level yeah but you should always and and so you're gonna find true treasure in those ruins every time you see those ruins be sure and check them because and they do take a little while to respawn you can't just constantly go back and get stuff constantly all the time uh, things do take a while to respawn because they are valuable you're gonna get really important things from those chests so now we're going to see I got that that got that shield and what you'll do is you'll find things there needing repair you won't get brand new it's what survivors have left in the chest that they've used previously yeah isn't that cool and, and here's our stone pick we got from there and sometimes you'll get higher like ramshackle and the different higher levels of things all right so I needed 10 hide to make my table I'm gonna put it down oh it won't let me I was gonna put it down in my toolbar but I need 50 stone, 30 wood, and 60 fiber. Let's look in the resource chest. Um, fiber and wood. Okay, so I have what I need for to make the tool worker workbench. So let's do that. Craft one of those and then put everything back in the chest so I'm not over heavy. And this, with this tool, uh, with this table, it'll be super helpful because it will help us make other things. Let's see. Let's place it down here. And we will re when we get our workshop built, it'll be so much better because we're going to be more organized. Oh, I'm getting levels. Yay! Levels are good. I'm going to do some points in fortitude because this... This map does get super cold. I did get 19 meat from those Lystra, so I'm going to go ahead and cook that oh, up. Oh, yeah. Let me put my meat in, too. Because meat uh, is very nourishing. Yes. And... Better than better it, than just berries. Yes. And if you make Lordan's stew, it actually takes meat and bingleberries. Yes. I'm not sure so if that's it's, even a better stew for you. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's... Um, what it's um what all it does for you but it is even better it may um make your food last even longer okay so we're looking in the uh work tool worker table and you'll see if you click on the inventory folder you're going to have two different forges so the first one you're going to want to make is the refining forge the heavy refining forge is later because you do need uh, hot steel ingots in order to make that. So you can see you need the hot steel ingots to make the heavy refining forge. So we're not going to be able to make that for a while. But we do need to make the refining forge and that's going to give us the first early or uh, iron that we need. You're also going to need to make your basic anvil. And I can show you that after we've gotten all the stuff together, because you can see I need metal ingots to make that. So there's a lot to this. Yeah. We're, I'm going to work on making this, and I'll bring you back. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Steffi, have you got your table down? Yes. Let me show I you do. what's in her I was, table. I was just going to go get some wood so we can start Ooh, crafting. Yes, we need to. Planks. Hopefully we can uh, get everything get our levels up high enough we need to make our fence fairly soon i agree but i think the more we craft these things then the higher our levels will get real quickly yeah. so okay so some of the things you i want to show you in the wood table is there's an insect house i have no clue what that is that's new and then there oh maybe that's why we need the insects oh, oh you know what i bet you're right and there's a feeding stable that is new I've not seen that before. And you can see we're going to need lots of things like planks and wood logs and metal. Those things are very high up compared to what we have right now. 
And then, so if you click on medieval, you can, there's just lots of things. Y'all can look in your own tables and figure these things out, but look at all those cute furniture. And then we have, uh, these are things made out of thatch, um, a wooden house, and that's a pre-built house, similar to the thatch house, but it's made out of wood. And we might build that next just for safety. Yeah, well, and it's super cute. Yes, it is cute. And so then there's the wooden cage. And you're gonna see in some of these tables that there are things from regular art that you can make. All right, so there's also um, regular building structures. And they're so pretty, oh my gosh. Structures, medieval and then wood. And that shows you your different structures. Uh, Here's an outside wall. You have stairs. You have uh, regular just walls, windowed walls, and each all of these, or most of them, I'm not sure all, but uh, they have variants. So you can actually, when you put down a windowed wall, you can have different looks to your windowed wall. So those will be things that we will be showing you as we go too. So be sure and stay tuned for that. But that's just a, a quick. Uh, that's overview. Just, that's just a quick overview of those two tables so you can see how much there is to this map. But for now, we're going to leave you right here. Steffi and I have got a lot of work to do. We're going to see if we can't get some of this stuff made up. I've got to go find some iron and we've got to build a forge. We've got to do <laughs> lots. <laughs> Too much. Too much, but... Don't forget we'll... to like and subscribe and click oh, yeah. the bell because you want to be notified as, as you watch us do Yeah, we'll do an update and show you the changes that we've made and what we figured out as we go along. Yes. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye, guys.